It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Thursday, August 6th. I'm James Spann. Kind of a wet, stormy day today for the northern half of Alabama. Let's dig in there and take a look at things. Water vapor satellite view, a nice shortwave trough coming in from the northwest that will give us good dynamic support for rain and storms today. That's the way the radar looked early this morning at 5.09. And you know when you see the radar fairly active at that hour of the day, it could be a fairly active day for convection across the state. Starting off the day in the 70s, we'll expect only upper 80s today because of the clouds and showers. The hot weather west of the state where heat advisories are currently in effect for around the Arklatex region over to Dallas-Fort Worth and Oklahoma City. Hey, hey, a slight risk, the standard risk of severe weather for our part of the state today. Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, a marginal risk down in South Alabama. Uh, the prime threat would be from strong straight line winds, a wet microburst or two. And then tomorrow, we have a marginal risk over far south Alabama. And on day three, which is Saturday, no severe weather expected here. In fact, the day should be mostly dry as the weekend begins. Uh, this is the uh, overall rain coming from the guys at WPC, suggesting rain amounts of about one inch. But uh, the RPM model, the Rapid Precision Mesoscale model, suggesting uh, heavier rain, maybe two or three inches for parts of North Central Alabama between now and late tonight. Not so sure we get that much, but certainly this will be the wettest day of the week, no doubt about that. Now in the tropics, the Atlantic Basin very quiet. In the western Pacific, Sudalor, a big typhoon, has weakened a lot. Uh, the sustained winds about 100 miles an hour, but it's expected to increase again in intensity as it approaches Taiwan, uh, which uh, would likely come across that island tomorrow. Uh, with potential for wind damage and flooding rains. And then over into mainland China after that. All right, model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 06Z run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. There's that good shortwave energy coming through. That's a pretty classic uh, look for active storms there. Got a surface low northwest of the state. And the HRRR at noon today looks pretty active. Uh, you know, we'll see if the air can destabilize. If we see clouds and rain much of the day, that will kind of lessen the severe weather threat. But certainly, uh, if the sun breaks out for a while, we could see some pretty strong storms this afternoon. And the rain could easily be heavy at times. You saw the RPM suggesting maybe some two and three inch amounts. There could be some minor flooding problems along the way. Uh, and again, uh, heat, not a problem today. We'll stay in the 80s. Tomorrow, the weather trends hotter and drier. Both the NAM and the GFS are at 91, partly sunny. The main dynamic support pulling off to the east. There could be a storm, but I don't think we see that many. And then for the weekend, mostly hot and dry. This is Saturday. Uh, we'll expect mid-90s, lots of sun, and the same thing on Sunday. Chance of rain, not zero, but most of the weekend will be just hot and dry. Now, Monday of next week, we've got a surface front approaching, and that might bring an increase in showers and storms again. We've seen some different looks on this, and this is Tuesday. Uh, this is suggesting maybe the surface boundary actually pushing south of here, and we get back in drier air. If this is right, Monday might be the day with the better coverage of rain, and Wednesday of next week looks relatively dry for us with any showers down across the southern half of the state. We'll keep the chance of scattered showers and storms going every day next week, and we'll fine-tune this. We all know fronts have a very hard time pushing that far south in August. And this is a week from today, Thursday, August 13th. Uh, big trough in the east. And a 597 heat bubble over the four corners. And if that's right, the air would be relatively dry. And again, maybe a shower, but probably not very many. Here's the end of the forecast on the 15th of August. Wow, look at the trough over the east. Heat ridge over the southwest, if that's right. Uh, be relatively dry and somewhat comfortable. And again, these top numbers are too high here coming off the ensembles. We don't expect 101 on Monday and Tuesday, more like mid-90s. Uh, but look at the low 60s this thing is printing toward the end of next week, and I think that's very possible. We might even see some upper 50s in the cooler pockets. That'll be a nice fall preview if that works out. Temperature anomalies August 13th through August 19th, a little above average here. But again, no sign of any super nasty, nasty triple-digit heat. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.